Hi, it's really a challenge to find the best products that can be deserving of your hard-earned money. It may be easier when you have a reliable source like our channel. Actually, our team reviewed a lot of products, analyzed endless reviews from the actual users, and made our rankings based on many factors, such as price, quality, durability, performance, and the reputation of the manufacturer. If you choose from this list, you can be sure that you're buying one of the best products. You can see their latest prices and find out more information about these products by using the links below in the description. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so let's get started with the video. Are you looking for the best bushcraft knives in your budget? Well, in today's video we break down the top 5 best bushcraft knives that are available on the market. Starting at number 5, we have the Zero Tolerance Bushcraft Knives. The Zero Tolerance 0006 is the closest to feeling like Rambo that most of us will ever get. If we were forced to describe the 0006 in one word it would either be, aggressive, or, effective, as this knife is ready for war. But, you'll find that it'll suit you rather well on your next outdoor adventure. The CPM 3V steel is wicked tough, but, unlike almost every other knife on this list, it's not stainless. To combat that, Zero Tolerance Cerakoted the steel so that it's even more durable and now impervious to rust. When you combine that with the rugged and thick pattern G10 handle scales, the 0006 becomes formidable in every situation it faces. The one surprising thing about this knife is its weight or lack thereof. For a full tang knife of this length to only be 7.4 ounces is a real treat. At this weight, the 0006 can maneuver with increased fluidity. So, where the 006 is built to do demanding tasks like splitting kindling and hunting down bad guys, it's also able to cut and slice with precision. We had a little too much fun testing the Zero Tolerance 0006, which we found out makes a great throwing knife as well as a survival and bushcraft knife. It's great around camp for various reasons, from food prep to fire prep, but the steel butt on the 006 makes it perfect for hammering intense stakes as well. Moving on at number 4. We have the White River Ursus Bushcraft Knives. Ursus is part of the scientific name for bears, and the White River Ursus 45 is quite a bear out in the field. From food prep to splitting kindling, to sitting around and whittling, we found the Ursus 45 to be comfortable and effective. Suffice it to say that the Ursus 45 was quite the companion around camp, and hard to beat. S35VN steel is the cream of the crop. It can take quite a beating and keep a sharp edge for a prolonged period of time. It also has great corrosion resistance which allows us to cut through anything and everything without having to worry about anything wet ruining the blade. The burlap micarta handle scales on the Ursus 45 allowed for excellent grip in all conditions. Wet or dry, you didn't have to worry about the knife slipping up or out of your hand. It's also great in a gloved hand, where the flowing handle shape is still effective. Another great feature of the Ursus 45 is the unbroken edge on the spine. This allows for the included ferro rod to throw large sparks with small effort. At number 3, we have the Moroknev Garberg Bushcraft Knives. Maybe there's something in the water in the industrial town of Mora, Sweden. But the blades that have been coming out of that city have become a bushcraft tradition. There's just been one little problem over the years. Customers have been crying for thicker tangs and more robust blade construction. The Moroknev company answered this call, creating the Garberg, our pick for the best survival knife. With full tang construction, this 9-inch carbon steel knife has a 4.3-inch blade and weighs in at a beefy 9.6 ounces. While the knife profile, grind and handle swell may superficially resemble smaller Moroknev products like, the Moroknev Companion, this full-bodied knife is nothing like its puny cousins. The black polyamide, plastic, handle could be a little rough without gloves, and it is a little jarring when doing impact work. Still, the Moroknev Garberg is ultra durable and the black multi-mount sheath offers many options for carry. The mall compatible kit gives the user many different carry options. It also remedies a classic Moroknev problem, sheath retention. The multi-mount kit includes a strap that can hold the knife securely in its sheath. My initial tests went very well, and after several seasons of hard use, the Garberg is still holding up great, and it's my pick for the best survival knife that excels at bushcraft tasks. At number 2, 
we have the Buck Compadre Bushcraft Knives. Buck has been making quality knives for outdoor enthusiasts for over a century. The Buck Compadre continues this trend. Even without their iconic logo, you can tell that it's a buck. You can see the heritage of many other buck knives in the curves of the Compadre. For this model, the 5160 spring steel blade is 4.5 inches long and 3.8 millimeters thick. With an overall length of 9.5 inches and natural canvas micarta handle scales, the weight is a little heavy, coming in at 7.1 ounces, but this does give it enough mass for light chopping tasks. I am particularly fond of the way the knife feels in hand. The micarta handle scales are well contoured for comfort and the knife spine has a great little section of thumb jimping near the handle. If you're not familiar with this odd word, you probably know what it represents. Like so many bucks, the compadre is a hollow ground drop point knife. This isn't the common pattern for bushcraft knives, but it works. Another unusual feature, different from most bucks and many bushcraft blades, is the black serrate cobalt coating for corrosion resistance. I was initially concerned that this coating would drag during cutting, but that wasn't the case. It cuts and carves very well, though the thin edge is more prone to impact damage than Scandi grind knives. And finally at number 1, we have the Moroknev Kansbol Bushcraft Knives. The Mora Kansbol's incredible versatility completely contradicts the adage, you get what you pay for. At about just $35, the value here is off the charts. The polymer grip has a nice, rubbery, rounded feel. I've never felt my hand strain using it. Nor have I had this knife slip once in my hands. The Sandvik 12C27 stainless steel blade has far better edge retention than any 8CR13 Mo V knife. This knife came razor sharp out of the box and cuts cord and cardboard like butter. The 90 degree spine is one of the best I've ever seen on this style of knife. It's an excellent scraping tool but shines best for fire starting. The cans bowl throws a huge spark. Mora did something unique by putting a flat grind over the first few inches. This eventually transitions into a modified Scandi grind near the bottom of the blade, making the knife unbelievably versatile. My only real complaint is that the knife is not a full tang, which takes some heavier bushcraft tasks out of the equation. This is a worthy knife for bushcrafters of all skill levels. However, I especially like this one for youngsters just learning wilderness survival. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you like this video. If this video was helpful to you, please make a sure like, comment, subscribe.